morning, this is Marcus Brown bringing you today's market update. We start off the news at the FTSE 100 yet again set a new record yesterday for the most number of consecutive winning days in the share index's history. During intraday trading, the FTSE surged above the 7,326 mark before settling at 7,290.29. The value of the sterling fell on the back of official figures being released that showed a widening of the UK trade deficit, giving the FTSE an early boost. The decline in pharmaceutical stocks and the jump in the pound against the dollar on the back of Donald Trump's press conference took a strain on its performance, yet the index still closed higher for a 12th consecutive day in a row. Remaining in the UK, Bank of England Governor Mark Carney has warned the EU that the failure to negotiate a Brexit transition period would be more damaging to the monetary bloc than it would Britain. The Governor still maintained that the UK would face risks if no transition period was agreed, but risks associated with no transition would be much more apparent for the EU if that was the case. Carney also stated that the bank no longer sees Brexit as the biggest threat to financial stability. Donald Trump gave an extraordinary press conference yesterday in which he avoided any clarity on economic policy, attacked the media and hit out pharmaceutical companies for the pricing of their medication. Many experts had hoped the president-elect would discuss some of his plans for the US economy and trade policy. Instead, pharma companies saw their share price hit by Trump's comments and the value of the dollar declined on the back of the new president's unwillingness to discuss his plans for the economy. In corporate news, Marks & Spencer has reported a 2.3% increase in like-for-like -like sales in its clothing division over Christmas. Tesco reported its first quarterly market share growth since 2011 as sales grew for the eighth quarter in a row. Samsung's chief executive has been questioned as a suspect in South Korea's corruption scandal. In data, 7.45 saw French inflation rate released. 9 o'clock saw German GDP was announced. 10 o'clock sees Eurozone industrial production figures released. 12.30, European Central Bank Monetary Policy Minutes data is uncovered. And at 1.30, US Federal Reserve's Patrick Harker gives his speech. Thank you for listening.